There are certain rights that people have in the world, and one of those rights is the right to good health. Wherever you live, whatever your race, whatever your culture, you should have the same quality of health, the same access to health services as anyone else in the world. University, academic health system has a very important role in global health because we are a place that new ideas emerge, we're a learning center. What a great university can contribute to global health is partly its research, but partly it's the multiplier effect of our students. Students catching uh, the spark, students being bit by the bug, and then changing the course of their life so they use their education to impact this field and this, and this problem in its many, many aspects. I think it's one thing to learn about global health and poverty issues um, in the classroom to discuss uh, health disparities in the world in seminars, but it's a completely different thing to just go out into the field and actually be engaged with these issues. I think it changes, it deepens your understanding of these, um, of these issues tremendously. This is a wonderful time to be in, in global health. Uh, great challenges abroad, similarly uh, great challenges here locally in, in Durham and in North Carolina. And we in the Global Health Institute are very excited about addressing these. Duke is an ideal resource for helping people who are affected by global health issues worldwide. We have brilliant people here, brilliant professors, all the up-to-date technology and information anyone could hope for. The Institute is situated within the university. We want all the schools at Duke to feel ownership of the Institute. We want them to all feel that they are our partner uh, and that we're working together to address a common set of health problems around the world through our four pillars of education, research, policy, and service. Every day I'm meeting somebody at this university who just exudes a sense of calling and passion about the subject of global health. Work I always find exciting is when I run into a student walking across the quad and say, where did you spend the summer? And the answer isn't lifeguarding, it's in the highlands of Guatemala. Uh, there's just so many different kinds of projects that people here are working on. Throughout this past summer, um, I worked in La Carpio, Costa Rica. My research question was, um, what is the perception of the health and healthcare conditions in La Carpio? Um, from the point of view of the La Carpio residents themselves. I was working in Rwanda with Zoe Ministry, which is run by Duke Graduate. I was sponsored by the Duke Global Health Institute. Getting this, this sort of fieldwork experience as an undergraduate in college was really incredible. I never thought I would have this opportunity. So I'm really fortunate that I found out about it this early on, and it has definitely prepared me a lot to become a leader in the future just by giving me that extra experience that came unexpectedly, but I'm so thankful for. If we're going to teach in the most profound and deep ways about how to address problems of global health, it's important that our students and our faculty have real experiences in addressing global health problems in the world. We work really all over the world. Um, our, our initial efforts, though, over the past few decades have been in Tanzania, originally in Dar es Salaam and now in Moshi, uh, where we work with uh, the Kilimanjaro Christian Medical Center. The idea was that we would actually go into communities and offer a period of a mobile voluntary counseling and testing, so a team from Kiwapuki, uh, which is a community service organization based here in, in Moshi, a team from Kiwapuki would go out to these communities and um, offer testing during a, about a two to three week period of time. We've had large numbers of people come for testing, and both the village leaders and the people who live in the towns that we've spoken with have been very happy with the project and only ask for more services. The most important thing about the HIV Voluntary Counseling and Testing Project in Kiwakuki is that we have the opportunity to marry local research needs with some of the abilities that we have to conduct research and to provide analysis. At the end of the day, we hope to influence policy and practice in Tanzania, in Sub-Saharan Africa, and beyond. So I'm asked frequently about 
you go going global. What about us here? I remind everybody that, of course, Durham is on the globe. And in fact, I think global really means local, national, and international. From the first day we started thinking about global health, we meant that global health involves the whole world. We don't see global health as uh, foreign countries' health. We see it as human health, which has both a local and a global aspect to it. We truly believe that local is global. And we do a lot of our research studies actually here in the Durham area and a lot of our interventions. So at least half of the work that I'm involved in is work that happens here in Durham and in the Deep South. I think our commitment to Durham and to the Greater Triangle, to the state of North Carolina is uh, unquestioned. You know, we have worked for years and even scale up our level of activity to see what we can do in addressing health disparities here. Here at the Institute, we harness the passion uh, of students and faculty uh, at Duke with the, the passion of communities around the world that want to have and deserve to have better health. The problems that we encounter in the world don't lend themselves to single disciplinary solutions. They lend themselves to solutions which require bringing together multiple disciplines around that problem. In order for us to do that, we need to have scholars who have that perspective. I came to Duke because the university had made a very unique commitment to work in the field of global health. Not one school, not one program, not one professor, but to really harness the entire university's expertise and resources to make a difference. All these issues that students think about and want to get involved in but don't know how, the Duke Health Institute is a perfect resource for them. There's something that Duke has in global health though, and I think everybody around the country is aware of it, which is that the spirit of collaboration across disciplines is so completely native to this place. Getting people from your law school, your business school, your engineering school, your divinity school, your medical school to work together, global health is all those things put together. And that's the thing it seems to me that Duke is uniquely equipped to deliver.